Hey guys! I'm Jasmine. And I'm Brooklyn. Welcome to the first ever episode of Yip Yap. This has been many weeks in the making. That's an understatement. I would say months. We've been planning every little detail to this moment. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're here. Let's talk about Minifon. Let's talk about Minifon. Minifon was last week. Let's talk about that then. It was neon themed. It was neon themed. We raised more than our goal. I can't remember the total total of how we like had. 15,600 something? I think so. It was cool. They had service dogs. They had this really cute pug. They, what was the other one? I forget. I don't know what type of dog. It was a kind of fluffy. Yeah, they were cute. But they were both being trained for service, like to be like little yeah. therapy dogs. They were so cute. I love the pug. I at least pet that dog at least 10 times. And I'm not a dog person. I hate dogs. That dog was cute. I don't really like dogs that much. They're cute though. They're very cute. I don't like them that much. I did pet the one. And I, I just got my nails done, so I started, I was like. <laughs> Dude, animals love nails. Like they love when like Xena, my cat Xena, for y'all that don't know, my cat Xena. Um, when I have like nails on, she loves when I like scratch the he her head. I don't know why, she just loves it. Anyways, back to Minifon. So, Minifon was cool, they had good food. They had Infinito's pizza, they had uh, subs. They had Swiss drinks, water. They had like the chips and they had a bunch of like sunglasses and I took a lot of bubbles. There were so many bubbles. By a lot, I mean two of little bubble ones. I took like three. Because I would go <sighs> to people and I'd blow the bubbles at them. In the karaoke room, someone put on Frozen and then everyone with the bubbles started spraying them at like <laughs> Brooklyn or who else? Was it was, who was singing? It was, it was, was it us? I think we were singing. We were singing. Cause I know I was singing, and I think Jazzy joined in a little bit. But it was like our snow effects, you know? Yeah. It was like our snow, snowy effect. There was bubbles all over that room. There was also raffle baskets. Um, they had like a school supplies one that Zach won. Shout out to Zach. He really wanted those he wanted, pens. He, there was pens in there. There was like notebooks and like whiteout and stuff, but he really wanted these specific pens, and he got it. Congratulations. And there was pickleball. Everyone wanted the pickleball because they thought no one else wanted it. Yes, and it was a, it was like it was a it was a thing. Like everyone was like, I want the pickleball. I, I want the pickleball. I don't even know what pickleball is. It's like tennis and ping pong mixed together and then thrown out. Okay. Is that why Reset wanted it really bad? Probably. <sighs> yeah. There was also like a movie theater one where you had like a AMC gift card, popcorn, candy. That one was like. Kind of a hit, but not really. I Everyone just wanted the candy, candy out of it. No one wanted the actual movie theater gift card. I would have used that thing up. Yeah. Cash me at the movie theater. But um, <laughs> um, there was a spa day one which was a hit too. Like that thing was filled. We we attempted so hard. We how did you you got tickets by like participating and so, <laughs> there were so many tickets that the people who held the tickets would just drop them on the floor so we would run around looking for those yeah but some sweet girl got it though she was really nice shout out to phoebe smith yeah shout out to her um and then yeah it was fun it was cool there was a dance party in the dark it was going in the dark and it was funny because people would like run around and dance and all you could see is like the the, the glow sticks. God, okay, it was worse because I had the sunglasses on still. I forgot to take them off when they turned the lights off. So they turned the lights off. Zach has like a bunch of necklaces and a bunch of like bracelets on and he starts sprinting around, flinging his arms around, screaming. And all I could see was the neon because the sunglasses like canceled out any other light that I could see. And then she made us all put them on to like understand like what she was saying. And it was so silly. There's a Congo line. Of five people. Of five people. But it was funny because you couldn't tell how many people were in it because of like the glow sticks. You couldn't like tell who was who. But it was only five people. It, was, it did not make it that far. The spa basket. The spa basket was good. It had like whoever put that one together. Good it job. Good. It had an awala. It had face mask. It had a sugar uh, scrub. Awala. <gasps> <laughs> I love awalas. Chat. This is like um, like an awala commercial. Oh, nice. I'm gonna be so honest. I'm I've in here. I've used this uh, I've used the same hydroflask since eighth grade. Well, no, 
They've changed colors every once in a while because I beat them up. I put this in my backpack and whenever I get in the cart, it falls out. There's a dent here. And the bottom is really bad. And I've gotten to the point where if I don't want to put it down, I just throw it. Um, I'm like Jasmine. I take very good care of my walla. Oh, uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's the scratches then? No, stop. <laughs> exactly. Don't put me on blast. Well, there's not <laughs> dents in this thing. Oh, yeah. No dents. This is like thin. This is like thin, okay? That's why wall is better. Can we talk about the Stanley apocalypse? Okay, guys. So if you have a Stanley, sorry to hit, sorry to um, burst their bubble. I think they're cute. I think they're, they're cute. They're cute until they weren't, and then now everyone's gonna get lead poisoning. I hope you have. Wasn't the lead poisoning just in like the little like bottom circle? Yeah, but you. But if it pops, you have no way of knowing if it breaks, and it could break. You have no way of knowing. And then you test your water bottle. Who tests their water bottle? I like the, the actual like like water bottle ones. The tumblers are like, I feel like it'd be hard to carry. Yeah, like I like the like the, the ones that you can like carry like this. Cause I like to do this. Like carrying a whole water bottle by the handle, I mean like whoosh. Also like they're not like leak proof. Like I feel like I move like my water bottle around too much. Yeah, there's like things you can get to put in the lid, but who wants to spend like 30 bucks on their already expensive water bottle yeah. to make sure it doesn't spill? Yeah. But like also like, and did you see the little, the little like bugs that get in the straw? Yeah, what what, what are they called? Like what are they called? I don't even know, but they're, they're, I can't. Do you I know, can't do they it. look like silverfish from Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I don't forget, I don't remember what they're called. That's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. I don't remember. It's not a silverfish. I know it's not a silverfish. Cause those are like, yeah. yeah. Anyways, keeping this conversation going. Student council elections for today. Um, I think people don't talk about school, student council enough because those people, like, I see them all the time in the hallway. They're always they're, meeting in the library always, in the morning. They're always working. They're always doing their thing. I. What I, are they doing? I have no idea what they're doing, but I know they're doing a lot. And they're doing stuff for our school and for our student body, but I have no idea what they're doing, actually. I think mm. they, like, plan, like, don't they plan, like, the dances and stuff? Well, some certain clubs plan dances. I don't know. Because like I know there was a mini thon one last year. They did King of Hearts. They do they do that? They do King, King of Hearts. That yeah probably actually. So I think they like do like homecoming and stuff, and I think they have like other people like come and help that are on student council. But I think it starts with student council. The elections were this week. Go you guys. If you got in, good job. If you didn't, also good job. Because you you, tried you were you brave and you were brave enough to try. You did something new. You tried it out, and hey, on to the next thing. Maybe the next thing is, like, the thing that you do, and it like, changes your course of your life. That's really deep. High five? High five? Turkey. <laughs> that's a, that's a real... Okay, <laughs> sorry. Hey guys, we're going to the last episode of Yep Yep! <laughs> Where we kick off Jasmine <laughs> off of this podcast. Guys, Chuck, please. Sorry. Okay, guys. I have a really bad habit where I, instead of saying, I used to have a bad habit of saying guys to one person. But now, I say chat. Because I think it's funny to pretend I'm a little boy who plays Fortnite. <laughs> guys, it's not a pretend. She does play Fortnite. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I try to, like, text her and hang out with her, but she's like, sorry. I have a Fortnite match to get to. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Anyway, wait, nice cardigan. Oh my goodness, Taylor Swift! Tay Tay! Wait. I know some of you don't like Taylor Tay -tay. Swift. You know, we all have our opinions. We all have the opinions. And some of them are wrong. You know. But I'm gonna let you be. I'm not gonna rain on your parade. Um, her album's coming out on. On Friday, April 19th. Is coming out, and I'm having an album release party. Also, a birthday party. Also, a birthday two party. Two and one. My, my birthday, two. My birthday party. Mm -hmm. My birthday. My birthday was two weeks ago. Happy birthday! You're old, ancient. I'm like one of the youngest people in this room. I'm telling you just how I feel. So. Yeah, so she's dropping um, the Tortured Poets Department. And I'm really excited. Those track names, 
It's gonna hit hard. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if they are. Um, there's like one. Post Malone's on it. For He's on everything. He was on like you know what called. Post Malone. Fort is it spelt like the Fortnite? game Fortnite? Did you do realize the like the the game chat, Fortnite chat, is sorry. named after like the actual like. But it's spelled Fortnite. different. Is it not? Oh no, it's not. Don't look at me like that. Maybe it's not. No. My bad. My fault. A little editor's note. You could not have been more wrong about that. Cause let me show you something real quick. Fortnite. 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 A period of two weeks. Anyways, um, there's like a song called like "So Long London," and then Joe like Alwyn. Yeah, and there's a song called "Florida," which is like when like the news broke out that they broke up. That was like the shows, which is gonna be heartbreaking. And then also, um, but Daddy, I can fix him. Parentheses, I really can. Oh, I saw, I saw that and one. And it's only like two minutes long. It's a shorter song, I think, on the album. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Hop in her DMs and start Please harassing don't. her. Please don't hop in my DMs. Please look at me in the eyes. Please don't. Please don't harass me. I won't answer. I'll block. I'll hit. <laughs> I'm gonna make like I'm gonna make like burner accounts and just start being like. Because like... I would literally. I think I'll delete my account. <laughs> I think I'll delete Instagram. I'll go, um, I'll stop being an iPad baby and, like, log off. Or a screenager. Is that what they call them? Now? iPad baby? I don't even have an iPad, guys. I just, I just go on my laptop and play The Sims. That, hundred dollars on Okay, so packs. I, I, I was babysitting and I, he, my dad gave me a hundred dollars. And I was like, you know what? I want to buy the city living pack for the sims but i also want the cats and dog packs on the sims and there was a sale there was a sale on packs like you could get like three packs or something it was like uh, like a like the like a like an expansion pack and like another ver version of a pack and another version it was a whole it's a whole thing if you don't know the sims whatever um and it was like you could get 25 percent off all three of those packs and i ate that up okay i got i got whole four packs for a hundred dollars and that's good okay that Let is, a girl live, that's okay? Good. How's your computer doing after that? You know, <laughs> it my me and my dad did have to figure out why it wasn't loading because it literally did crash the second I downloaded all of them. But we figured it out, and you know, other games won't load properly. But it's okay because I have The Sims, and that's just fine. I'm, this is also talking about The Sims. When I was like 11, I downloaded. I was downloading clothing so that my Sims could look epic and not have to use the, yeah. like, the clothing from the game. And I accidentally downloaded a Sims 3 to my Sims 4 and my whole game crashed. Like it would never open and I started violently sobbing because I thought I broke my computer. But I just downloaded it wrong. Like I just... So imagine my mom and I at like 8 p.m. sitting at our kitchen table and me just crying because I thought I broke my computer. But really, it's just one piece of clothing, like, like a shirt that's from Sims 3. And that's why it didn't work. Also, I don't know how people like play The Sims and like have all the packs. Like I literally do not know how. My dad and I were like a Best Buy picking up my headphones, and um, he was like it was like this really intense gamer like computer setup. He was like, "Do you need this while you're gaming?" And I'm like, "That would barely even hold The Sims." Like he was like, "Is that really?" I'm like, "Dad, if I bought all the Sim packs right now, if I had the money, because well, that's a lot of money." I don't know people do that. I know like there's like softwares where you can like hack your way in and like download them yeah. for free but i don't want to get a virus is that worth it like my my laptop was literally blow up my laptop has so many viruses on it not my school laptop my 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 gaming pc so many i don't know if they're viruses but like everything pops up everything you know how many viruses that the bb program msis have it's so funny in the control room the computer that you write script on has Steam on it. And you can't delete it. You can't delete it. Didn't someone try to like download Roblox on my computer and then it ended up going on like the script? Like, it was on one of like the card things. In middle school, there was some kid with uh, Roblox on his computer, like on his laptop. Like, Guys, don't worry, it wasn't Donya. Donya's <laughs> behind the computer <laughs> shaking and clicking. She's working as camera. Hey. Um, and she just went. 
And it was not you, Nanya, don't you worry, but it was some kid in my computer class. And every day I'd watch him play Roblox. There was some kid in my sixth grade art class who would play with this other girl and they would like play Roblox and but they would play like those like like you know like those games where you like it's like this like the 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 beach and it's like the family role play games but it was like before like Brookhaven it was like yeah. back in the day yeah like OG like, like Flamingo Flamingo like I'm gonna get admin commands and it was and there's like 10 million versions of this game but it's always the same map you know what I'm talking about yeah I think so yeah they would always yeah. play those games I'm like, how do you not get bored? Dude, I slimmed away on that. They like role played. Like they were getting into it. I'm like, you have an art assignment due in ten minutes in sixth grade. Like you have to you have to color your coloring page. What are you doing? Mandatory art classes literally like beat me in middle school because I had like a C every time I took one. What was that like one like like the sixth grade art teacher, she had it us do like I think the eighth grade one too. Like, you had to, like, go on that one website, and then you had to, like, put, like, what, like, take a picture of whatever you did. Yeah. And upload it. Isn't the one art teacher, like, related to some famous football player? Yeah. Like, it's Ryland. Ryland. She's related to Chad Ryland. He's on the, I don't think he's famous. Well, he's in the NFL. Isn't he NFL? He's in the NFL. He's in the NFL. He's in the NFL. People interview him here all the time. Yeah, because he's in the NFL. Yeah. He's, he's a Cedar Crest Where alum. How does football work? I, I I think I've had multiple conversations with many people about this, but like from my basic understanding is that you have all these lines, and you have two teams, and you have all these different positions, and you throw the ball around, and you get touchdowns. But if you get close enough, you can go through the little like yellow box thing. You I know? don't. I don't even know. Cause is, that a, is there a yard goal, field goal? What is that? I don't even know. Someone someone hop in my DMs and tell me. But I'm in color guard, so I have to go to like all the football games. I don't know what happens. Every time someone starts screaming, I go, is this good or is it bad? And my answers vary every time. I don't even know. Yeah. Is our football team good? I think so. I think it depends. I think it is. I think it depends on the year. It depends on the year and it depends on- But go football. Yeah. Go football. I know Mr. Shellhorn um, has been like, um, he was like, he was showing us like this video and he was like, man, high township. That, that we were like watching a really like this sad video about this car crash that happened in Mannheim a couple years ago, in like 2015, and he was like, man, in that in those in those B-roll clips, he's just like this background clips. He didn't say B-roll, and it made me cringe a little bit. But um, he said in those background clips, two of them, we those are games we lost in. <laughs> so, People go insane about sports. I don't know how sports work. I don't. I know a little bit of soccer. I don't know how soccer works, but I don't know how like other sports work. Like I couldn't tell you. I tried to pick up tennis. You tried to play tennis? With my dad. Oh, okay. I was like, you were gonna be on. I didn't know you were. Doesn't Shellhorn coach us? This is why you should be top notch teacher. Top notch teacher. Vote him for the top notch teacher. Thank you. I think that's a good place to leave off on. Yeah. Anyways, um, vote top notch teacher. I'm Jasmine. I'm Brooklyn. That concludes the first episode of Yip Yip.